Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Meteorologist Dave Downing here. A chilly start to our Saturday. Bottomed out in the single digits below zero in some places. Another cold night tonight. Sunday night, not quite as cold, although still in the teens. And then we're going to bounce back by Tuesday, close to 50. So a topsy-turvy week of temperatures, if you will. And then by uh, Wednesday, Thursday, of course, all eyes on that system that could impact us uh, Wednesday into early Thursday. There are those lows from this morning. Zero in Newton, also in Carroll. Negative two for Fort Dodge in Iowa Falls. It was two above here in Des Moines. Another chilly night ahead. Here are those wind chills overnight. It's not going to get too bad until after maybe 3 or 4 a.m. We'll stop it here at 6 a.m. Feels like negative double digits up in Fort Dodge in Iowa Falls. Still single digits to the south. But look at this by 9 a.m. If you're heading out to church or walking the dog in the morning, still feeling like well below zero. Even here in Des Moines, even about an hour and a half to two hours after the sun comes up. Some improvement, though, does arrive by noon, but look at that. Uh, still near zero in that feels like department. We could also see a chance for some snow overnight tonight. There it goes. Just a quick hitting system. One more comes on mo uh, early Monday morning, but overall, that's pretty much it. You can see a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow and on Monday. Two very quick hitting systems. So how much snow? Well, really not that much. Eastern Iowa sees the bulk of it. Here's how much snow from a uh, storm number one. It's really not a storm. It's called a clipper system. It's one of those weak ones. Maybe quarter to a third of an inch in Grinnell, close to an inch in Cedar Rapids. Their system number two, you could see at least areas to our east could see an inch and a half, to two inches of total snowfall. By the time we get Monday afternoon, you see just a trace of an inch. Uh, here in Des Moines, really nothing significant whatsoever across central and southwestern Iowa. There comes that warming trend, low 20s by Sunday, close to 50 by Tuesday. Even though it's going to be mainly cloudy, big old warm front arrives by Tuesday morning, bringing us back well above average. And then, of course, the uh, focus shifts to Wednesday and Thursday. Here is the American model, paints the low pressure system across the St. Louis area in southern Illinois. That this is a change from yesterday. You see maybe southeastern Iowa gets in on some of the snowfall. I'll kind of pick a model and run with it tomorrow, but there's too much difference between the two models. Here's the European model way further south there. The European has always been further south than the American for the last several days, but overnight the American and the European both shifted south. What that's going to do is take all the moisture out of the upper Midwest and potentially amplify the severe thunderstorm threat across the south. Of course, we're only in February, but severe weather season has already really started across the south. Maybe some snowfall across the Great Lakes into the maybe Ohio Valley as that system tracks eastward. But the impacts have definitely decreased, or at least the potential impacts for snow across Iowa and the rest of the upper Midwest. There's a uh, bit of a roller coaster ride in temperatures. 20s by Thursday, rebounding though by Friday. Average high is still in the low 30s. Long term, this is for the last week of February. It's kind of crazy to think we're already talking about the last week of February. The month kind of just started. That above average trend is going to continue. Also, we could see above average in the precipitation. Uh, one storm kind of perks its interest for us uh, that week. We'll show you it on our 10 day forecast here in just a second. 20% chance that's mainly east of the metro tonight. And not quite as cold as last night because it will be a little bit more, a little bit cloudier, if you will. More sun than clouds, maybe a 60 40 split tomorrow. Highs below average in the low 20s. Here's your Holt Plumbing Heating 10 day forecast. There is a 50 on there. It comes a week from tomorrow. Early snow chance tomorrow, then we'll call it a 40% chance Wednesday, 30% chance Thursday, uh, Thursday. And there's that chance. Uh, of course, it's nine or 10 days away for the next system after that. But hey, let's get through this week first.